Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, Certified Astrologer. And in this segment, I'm going to be going over the reading of the full moon. Now, technically, the full moon has gone by already. Um, however, the as you know, the effect of the full moon lasts for approximately three days. So um, all of the predictions and um, some of the astrological configurations that I tell you about is still relevant through a couple of days. Um, so this, again, this full moon took place on February the 24th at um, exactly 7.30 a.m. Eastern, uh, Eastern Standard Time. So this is, um, just before I get started, this is considered the snow moon. Um, each full moon is given a name and um, this is actually one of what they call a micro moon. Um, that means that um, some of the smallest moons that you'll see. Um, so what was going on in the heavens um, at the time of 7.30 on, Ju on um, February the 24th? Well, um, let's take a look at the sun and the moon. That's the most uh, obvious place to look. Um, the sun actually is still in Pisces. Um, the sun is in Pisces and the moon is in uh, Virgo. Um, so the dynamic tension that is that um, really comes to fruition is between the nebulous and kind of dreamy Pisces to Virgo being um, very methodical and very practical. Um, so that's the dynamic tension that needs to be resolved, um, not only in interpersonal um, relationships, um, but globally, um, these are some things that need to come to focus as to how we can um, complement those two energies to be able to uh, come up with viable solutions um, in those places that there are war or um, some some conflict somewhere. What what isn't making the dreamy Pisces easy to tolerate is this Neptune. Uh, Pisces, Neptune. Now, Neptune takes a long time to go through this astrological chart, so that is not a concern. Um, what is a concern is how close Neptune is to the first house. So this is a very Pisces-driven chart. Um, again, somebody um, that can think kind of in, in a way that others can't. They can see the big picture. Um, however, sometimes there's um, uh, a dreaminess um, to to Pisces where um, there's a tendency to lose track of reality. In the how I, I want to bring your attention to the eleventh house. Uh, the eleventh house is the house of friendship. Um, uh, not aside from relationships, relationship house is seventh house. The eleventh house is more um, social friendships, things like that, and it seems like something is getting activated in that house because both Mars and Venus are um, conjunct. And now you'll probably notice Mars and Venus are conjunct in many places, but again, the point that I was making with Neptune, what is doing in your personal houses, that's where the effect actually is. So, for instance, um, House of Friendship, so th there might be new friendships and there might be um, friendships that, that are um, no longer there. Um, so th this is kind of um, what this entails, this configuration. Um, finally, what I wanted to do is, since I'm on the topic of houses, um, I wanted to take a look at this 12th house. Um, the sun, as I already said, is in Pisces, and in that segment, what I was doing is I was reading only the signs. Now, if we take that away and, and determine what these houses mean, the 12th house is more about rebirth, um, uh, regeneration, something that no longer um, has purpose kind of leaves, and um, what is more purposeful um, enters. Um, the symbol that is always used for this is the rising of the phoenix. Um, out of the burning ashes and embers, um, the new phoenix um, uh, is born. 
Um, so th this is kind of a regeneration um, time from uh, maybe thinking in a different way, um, whatever that may be, um, some creative um, sorts of solutions in places that there may not be one um, as far as some of the wars in Middle East, Ukraine, some of the upheavals that are taking in some of the countries in Africa. Um, always good to place some of the uh, political happenings um, with what I've told you here and that will make learning astrology easier um, and what I'm telling you um, not sound like a foreign language. Um, anyway, I, I, I hope this has all made some sense. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening.